Hello, this is Veli Martin Keitel again. Last year I was in England with a group of people to see the crop circles there, among other things. I made a remarkable discovery. The locations of a few of the crop circles that appeared in August were not only related to one another, but also they were somehow connected to the places we visited. You can see a video I made about this stuff on my channel. See the link in the description. When I had figured out how the locations of many crop circles were somehow based on this path made of three points, and that this path also matched the movements of our group, I had this really crazy idea of checking out if my path in England before the group arrived could also match. I arrived two days earlier than the rest of the group. I had a picture in my head of my train trip from Gatwick Airport, changing the train at Reading Railway Station, to meet my sister in Chippenham. And I thought it looked somewhat similar as the pattern I found. Since I had a feeling there might be something extraordinary here, I decided to record a video of my work on Photoshop to find out whether this works out. And here is this video and my finding. You see, as a matter of fact, I was wrong. The path didn't lead to Chippenham at all. Instead, it led to the first crop circle I visited with my sister near Chippenham. That very same day I arrived. Also, this was the first crop circle we visited with the group a couple of days later. I thought this was pretty amazing. After all, we are talking about very precise matches here. Now here is a map of all the crop circles that match this pattern. I made this map for an article I wrote for a Finnish magazine. As you can see, seven formations are related to each other according to this pattern. It looks as if there's no way to construct a logical, chronological chain of events that explains why and how the locations of all these crop circles are defined. It would seem that somehow this pattern of three points was already there to begin with. But where? Well, in late August 2018, after making a similar study about the crop circles in England that summer, uh, with even more astounding revelations, and this will be a topic of another video, I had another crazy idea. This seemed really totally absurd, yet again somehow my intuition said this might be it. Since there was a connection between the crop circles and the Gatwick airport, Perhaps there is a connection to the other airports in London as well. And, lo and behold, it turns out to be true. This I found absolutely mind-blowing. When you make this shape start from Gatwick Airport South Terminal, which is the original terminal of this airport, and run it through the Heathrow Airport Main Terminal, the pattern points to the exact location of the terminal of Luton Airport. Can you believe it? The pattern defined by the three main London airports is the key factor on how to decipher the locations of the crop circles in England in 2017. So, I then tried to figure out if there's any logical causal sequence that would determine the location of each crop circle one by one. To make this work, I had to completely disregard the chronological order of the circles. Then we look at the route I took from Gatwick Airport to Reading Railway Station. And the next target is the first crop circle I visited and we visit it as a group later. Here we now have this path made of three points that will repeat many times defining the locations of several crop circles. 
Now, let's make this path begin from the Reading station to the direction defined by the Stansted Reading connection and run it through the Lockridge formation. This way it will point out the new crop circle at Battlebury Hill, east of Warminster. If we make this path start from the Battlebury crop circle, then scale and rotate it to match the Lockridge circle, it shows the place of the formation in Hannington Highworth. Next, using the Alton Barnes White Horse as a reference point, the path pinpoints the exact location of the second crop circle near Warminster at Clay Hill. In my previous video, I explained the importance of the White Horse as it was a place where we visited and did a kind of a meditation to manifest a new crop circle in this area. Notice that this is not the actual order in which these crop circles appeared. For the moment we just have to disregard the timing and just look at the locations. There was a major crop circle in June 2017. With the help of this one we can determine the location of the next one and here is how it goes. We make a straight path run through the Hannington formation and continue this straight path so that its length is exactly 250% of the distance of these two former crop circles. And here we have it, another crop circle in Little Compton. Next, we utilize the same three-pointed path again. We match it with the Hannington and Little Compton crop circles and voila! There is the last crop circle in Wharton Waven. However, there is at least one more earlier crop circle that can be located using these patterns. Let's take the same path once more, starting from the Little Compton formation and aligning with the Gatwick Heathrow connection. Then we turn the path so that the first portion points directly south, so it is vertical. Actually, it's passing through one more crop circle on the way. At the tip of the path, we find a formation that appeared in the end of May. Finally, let's notice another alignment. Since the Reading station is involved, I thought why not the London Victoria Railway station as well? And indeed, when you draw a straight line from London Victoria to one more crop circle in the same cluster of circles in the Avebury area, it passes exactly through the Reading station and two crop circles. I'm sure there are more things to find about the locations of the rest of the 2017 season formations, but for now let's end this here. Alright, as you can see, the three-pointed path has been there all the time, defined by the three London airports. The fact that my route from London Gatwick via Reading station to the Lockeridge crop circle was identical with this path now seems a case of amazing synchronicity. As well as the equally fascinating fact that our group's path from the Clay Hill crop circle to the Alton Barnes White Horse together with the Hannington crop circle again 
formed an identical path. Uh, this stuff I was explaining more in my earlier video. Please check it out also. This synchronicity, the way how all the pieces of this puzzle fit together, make you think that all of this was somehow laid out at once or not with any normal causal chronological manner. I can't help but to think that the intelligence behind the crop circle phenomenon is somehow free from the cause and effect linear thinking. And there is one more thing I'm going to reveal at this point. It is mind-blowing enough to find this triangle reappear so many times this triangle defined by the three London airports. Still, it would be even more intriguing if this shape had some other meaning, a connection to something outside the airports and crop circles. Yep, you guessed it. It does. In the second part of my serial wormholes video documentary I made in 2004, uh, it was called Conduit Closing, according to the message in the Crabwood Alien of Circle that appeared in 2002. I was discussing a connection uh, from the crop circles to the Great Pyramid of Giza. And here we have it again. This particular path, you see, it perfectly matches inside the pyramid. When you place one of the lines vertically inside the pyramid, the other line runs exactly in the angle of the pyramid slope. And not only this, the ratio of these two lines is 9 to 8. Is there something special about this ratio? Oh yes, 9 to 8 is the ratio of the whole tone interval in music. This is the very cornerstone of Western music, both pop and jazz and classical music. Furthermore, the pattern also splits the pyramid slope into two sections in exact proportions. If the longer arm is vertical, the split is 9 to 13, as you can see, if the shorter arm is vertical, the split ratio is 9 to 10. In my next video, I will be looking at the staggering configurations of the 2018 crop circle season. And I assure you there's gonna be more connections to the Giza pyramid. So stay tuned to my channel. And until that, bye for now. This is Veli Martin Keitel from Finland.